Hey everybody, so we are one night into a Stanley Cup playoff action and the craziness has already started. With the biggest shock, I think certainly for me and probably for everybody, is Tampa Bay drops game one at home to Columbus. Tampa, 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 what are you doing? Uh, this, I mean, so many people had Tampa winning this in a sweep at least in five or less games. This was supposed to be a cakewalk for the Lightning, and they have already lost game one at home. Um, now, I, didn't, I saw the beginning of the game and then switched over to Pittsburgh and New York, so I didn't see exactly what happened, but I can almost guarantee you this. Tampa gets out to a 3 nothing lead in the first period, and they start thinking exactly what I just said, that this is going to be a cakewalk, this is going to be an easy series. They're going to just blow through Columbus. And they took their foot off the gas. And as soon as you take your foot off the gas, especially in the NHL playoffs, you're going to get burned. And that's exactly what happened. Columbus came all the way back and ended up winning 4-3. to three. Um, Just a devastating and disappointing loss for Tampa Bay. And a huge, huge comeback for Columbus to steal game one. Now, with that being said, this loss is certainly not a death sentence for the Lightning. It's only one game, and it's, I think it's important to remember that it's only one game. Nobody wins or loses a series in game one. And I think, you know, if you're a Lightning fan, you really need to hope that this served as a major wake-up call to Tampa Bay. And I... I it, you know, they're a veteran team for the most part. They do have some young pieces, but they've got a lot of veteran leadership there. They've got a really good coach in John Cooper. I would not expect a, a repeat of this again. I think this certainly is a real slap in the face and a big-time wake-up call for the Lightning to to just be like, hey, we're, we're yes, we won the President's Trophy. We were the best team in the league by like 20 points over anybody else. We tied the NHL record for wins in a season. But guess what? None of that matters in the playoffs. Absolutely nothing about that means anything in the playoffs. When you get into the playoffs, everything resets to 0-0, zero, zero, tied series. And, and, and what you did in the regular season is meaningless the only thing that helps you with is who you get in the matchup and that's it and and i think tampa was a little too uh f were, they were feeling themselves a little too much especially after getting out to that three nothing lead when they got out to that lead i think it really set in like they they were like columbus this team barely got into the playoffs we're gonna destroy them well, look what happened. You didn't destroy them. You blew a three-goal lead, and they came back and won. So now you've lost, you know, home ice, at, at least game one on home ice. And you're in a position now where you kind of have to, you know, game two has got to be a statement game for the Lightning. Game two has to be a statement game for the Lightning, or uh, they're... The, the, I think there's going to be an underlying problem there if it's not. If they come out and don't play well in Game 2 or drop Game 2 also on home ice, I think that um, you know that there's an underlying problem there for Tampa Bay. So hopefully this served as a wake-up call for them. But it's certainly not the end of the world because just looking back on last year's playoffs, there's some precedent here. Um, for both of these teams, and unfortunately for Blue Jackets fans, it it does still bode in Tampa's favor. And that precedent is is that last year in the playoffs, Tampa Bay dropped Game One on home ice to Boston in the second round, and then proceeded to win the next four games straight and beat Boston in five and move on to the conference final. So this wouldn't be the first time that Tampa dropped a fir you know first game at home and then came back and just wiped the floor with the team after that. Um, and Columbus has some negative history as far as blowing leads happening last year. Columbus actually got off to a tremendous start in the playoffs last year. They stole both games one and two in Washington against the Capitals in the first round. 
and then proceeded to lose four straight, including, you know, games uh, three and four on home ice. And then again, they the, back in Columbus, they got they lost game six on home ice. So they lost three out of four games on home ice against the Capitals last year and ended up losing that series in six to the team that went on to win the Stanley Cup. Washington was that close to being out in the first round. Columbus couldn't close the deal, and they came back to win it in six, and then obviously Washington went on to beat Pittsburgh, beat Tampa Bay, and then beat Vegas. So Tampa has come back from a game one loss before, um, so it's I wouldn't be overly worried if I was a Lightning fan. And, and Columbus has blown series leads before, and really... You know, one game isn't much of a lead. You know, if Columbus was to go up two to nothing and then blow that, that would be more, you know, exactly what they did last year. But that would be really a blown lead. One game isn't really much in the playoffs until you get to game five, where you take the three two lead, and that's that's a huge game. But um, you know, it's just it was it was, it was just shocking more than anything else to see Tampa lose to Columbus at home. The team. With 62 wins, tied the NHL record for wins in a season, loses on home ice in the first game of the playoffs to a team that didn't get into the playoffs until the last couple days of the season. That, I mean, that that's just shocking, and nobody had that happening. I don't think, I think very, very few people picked that, would have picked that to happen. So uh, Tampa really needs to get it together and uh, make sure that they're ready to go in Game 2. Game 2 is big. I, I really think that Game 2 is big. If Columbus takes Game 2, I think, you know, and heads back home with a two games to nothing lead, I think Tampa's got to, I mean, that's full-on, not panic time for Tampa, but that's full-on, okay, we need to win these next two games. Like, it's, it's a must-win these next two games to get this series back to 2-2. If Tampa wins Game 2, which I fully expect them to, then I think that it was all right. Game 1, we got caught up in ourselves a little bit. We, we kind of took the, our foot off the gas. Weren't, didn't bear down enough, didn't respect our opponent enough, but we're back on track and we're going to finish this. And then I would expect Tampa to take full control of the series. But Game 2 is going to be a big one in that, in that matchup. And um, we'll see what happens. But I, uh, one night, one night, and we've already got some craziness going on. Um, another thing to note is that three out of the five home teams last night lost. So home ice advantage hasn't really been an advantage in the wasn't an advantage in the first night. Uh, three three of the teams starting at home lost. Nashville lost. Winnipeg lost. And Tampa lost. Now, the Islanders and Sharks did win on home ice, but it's not like all five home teams won or four out of five home teams won. We're, it's two out of five home teams won. So that's that's interesting, and I think something to watch throughout these playoffs. You know, we've got the other three series starting tonight with all of their game ones. See how many home teams win and see how many lose. I think that's an interesting thing to watch. Is home ice that much of an advantage, especially early on in the series? I think if you get to a game seven and you're playing game seven at home, that's definitely an advantage. But early in the series, is it an advantage or does that just put more pressure on the, the home team? So we'll see what happens tonight, but the uh, it's been a wild, wild playoffs already. And um, we already had an overtime game with the Islanders and Light, uh, Penguins. The Lightning lost, um, Nashville lost, not good for my Stanley Cup pick. Um, it, it's, uh, playoffs are back, baby, and it's uh, one game in and it already, one day in, and it already feels like the like typical, crazy, unpredictable NHL playoffs. So with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon and merchandise store are down in the description as well. Uh, keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.